Hello, YouTubers. This is Purgle once again. So, I've managed to get myself out of cover. And this is a new new game I've been working on. I'm going to do a weekly blog on it. Vlog, whatever. And here is the game I've been working on. By the way, I'm sorry for the long hiatus. I have been dealing with my school and life and everything, so, you know, that kind of stuff. And hopefully, and I recently got a new computer that's more powerful than my old one, so hopefully it doesn't do anything. Alright, so Project Imagine, I named it this because I have no title for this yet. So, here we go. This vlog is meant to, to, um, to track the progress of the game and give it some goals for me to work on. By the way, I'm still working on Burning Quest 3. The latest I'll ever release it is either on Cerno Day, which is, for those who don't know, is September 9th. Or Hitalia Day, which Hitalia Day, which sort of coincides with a UN and United Nations Day that usually happens on a weekend. Well, it fits on a, usually happens on a weekend somewhere in uh, October. So, so the two latest dates Burning Quest 3 will be out. I should have done a video doing celebrating the one-year anniversary of Burning Quest when Nazis attack. But anyway, here we go. You are about to embark on a journey through one's mind and imagination. Say, um, what's your name again? Just recently got this game off of Steam, so I now I have to do, deal with several map two several menus in Japanese, and then and then like and then English, and still have the page and okay, also being in Japanese. Default. Okay, Jack. Okay, Jack. Now you will travel through lands that are normally not well, broken English. I'm gonna put an R in there with the others and a friend of yours. I don't know if this. So one of the goals we'll be trying to do is get rid of not use as much as the uh, default music as we know for the title screen in Jack's house. Here's a little tutorial which kind of helps. Darn it. Mm. Got some tile set, used tile sets, which, you know. Well, apparently I tried to make this traffic light work, but it just cycles through all the lights, so I just incorporated that NPC here. So I named this Natick because, as a placeholder, eventually I'll rename it. Yeah. 
and now you're in the parking lot. Uh, <laughs> single. A very soft. Here is the thing so far, so transparency on with a on at the beginning with a auto run event. Events. Hi, Hi there. Are you still clean? Yeah. You still clean? Yeah. Are you still wet and clean? Hi. So this game is pretty early into development as there are no new troops, no new enemies. No new armors yet. Only one custom skill. Mercury Fulminate. Which is... No new items yet. Classes. Here, where it gets interesting. And this will show into the... Alright, so Programmer is the only Grammar and Smart Arts. I'm just going to say that just because I have other people of various ages in this place. Smart ass. Which skills and stats have already been done with. Heisenberg and Erg and Miko over, er, have only gotten their stats. If we go over here, we got Jack, Trevor, and then these two characters right here. The rest are all default. Not sure what to do with them. Probably replace them with other blokes. So we got 
Trevor, Jack. I mean, we got Walter and Rainbow. Now, I'm going to go on to Walter, which... So, using the default character generator right here, this is as best of a Walter White I can make. So basically, there's going to be a room where they're testing, see if you can control a video game with your using your brain as a video game controller, as a gaming controller, the prod, and you're testing it on the CEO, which would be me, you know, duh, and it would fail, and basically you'd be warped into my imagination. And, and as such, this allows this the great American crossover to happen. So we already got, so we got our two original protagonists. Then we got Walter White from Breaking Bad, Raymu from the Toho games, so let me fix that real quick, there, so got that fixed, I'm going to fix the R problem. Out in the parking lot. So way that period isn't all cut off. And so yeah, this is pretty much it. Some places look a little bit barren, like especially at the lobby, the parking lot to, to the Aerosoft HQ looks a little. Sorry, it's just not like this cold, but some people say it's allergies, but whatever. I just have an allergic cold. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, yeah. So, not only did I get RPG Maker on Steam for full price, because... Because there was a sale to get 75% off. By the time I got this, that sale was way over. Like, this was like February. Maybe March, but, you know. I also got the future tile sets. And the modern tile sets. I also got, like, that classic modern. So in case if I wanted to re revive that Mother 4 idea. That I had for, like, a really long while ago. In fact, you can still find the video for it in development people are like when is it coming out well to answer their questions well the game has long been canceled because that and even so if that project wasn't canceled it would be, the, the original files would have been long gone because that was like several computers ago even so that would be rpg maker vx by now i've upgraded to vx ace because you know allows for so many different things. It also has more default stuff, so that's also nice to play around. So, however, I'm gonna have like the sprawl. So basically, it would have every. So basically, there then there would be the antagonist, because you know every RPG needs a good antagonist. Because you would be inside my imagination, I would, because I have Wilson's disease, I was thinking it would be like somebody like Wilson Copperhead, like Wilson Copperhead. Get it? Because Wilson's disease, it affects the liver because it doesn't process copper that well. You know, like, cop, hence Copperhead and Wilson, Wilson Copperhead. And I'll have that be the leader of, like, everything that goes bad, because, because, like, you would see Team Rocket, like, the literally capture Cyrano in a Cyrano into a uh, Pokeball, then you ha have to go to Gensokyo to stop a communist revolution. Heck, the, I'm planning to put in a scene where, like, you literally fight Leon Trotsky, oh. Vladimir Lenin, and Joseph Stalin. Oh, Stalin of. I know, Trevor. Oh, so you're talking to me. I'm talking to the screen. Congratulations, you're um. 
It has a microphone in it. You need to go outside and get some people. Speak for yourself. Hey, well, you made fun of me every time you talked. <laughs> making funny old thingies. All right. Hopefully that becomes a meme. So, yeah, this is probably it. Bye.